Um, thanks so much for joining on in. Um, what I'm going to say is that, you know, technical difficulties, no biggie. Here's what we're going to do is that I have Barbara um, on the phone here, and I'm just going to ask her some questions, introduce her like we would normally do, um, and then just go from there. It'll be you'll, you'll be able to hear her and her responses and her um, communications. Um, thank you so much for your patience. Again, super appreciated. Um, so I'm just going to let people join on in for a second here while we handle this. All righty, cool. So let's introduce her. So this is Barbara Cordova. She is with um, Artists for a Better World International. She is an amazing, amazing person. She is very much into safeguarding the future of artists and basically um, promoting artists in general and their abilities to be amazing at what they do which is create art and just be amazing at inspiring the future and creating the future. So um, I want to bring her on as a guest, and you're probably going to um, love everything that she says because that's how she is. She's amazing. Um, so this is Barbara Cordova. And Barbara, is there anything you'd like to say to the viewers um, before we get started? Uh, no, thank you for that very lovely introduction, Brian. It's uh, good to be back, um, and I am looking forward to um, telling people about what we've been doing here for a better world. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Barbara. I love it. All righty, so um, I have the logo up there so everybody can see how beautiful it is. Um, I want to ask you that first question, which was, um, what was the purpose behind starting AFABW, which is Artists for a Better World. Yes, well, this comes back um, many years to the 90s. When, you know, I've been an artist most of my life, basically a singer, songwriter, um, novelist, and I authored um, Mission of the Artist, which is all about the importance of the artist to our culture. So being an artist, um, I felt that I needed to do more than my own art. Um, because I realized uh, from a friend, the, the root word of the word art comes from the word artist, which is to join together. That's from Thomas Lane, who wrote The Artist Manifesto. Uh, I also started studying the works of L. Ron Hubbard many years ago, and he is one of the biggest supporters of the arts that I know. And he has a quote where he says, a culture is only as great as its dreams, and its dreams are dreamed by artists. And that's by far one of my favorite quotes. So I took that to heart, and I decided that artists needed to unite, and the name popped up, Artists for a Better World. It was never even surveyed or anything. It's just, you know, this um, realization that that's what we need to do. We need to unite to artists to create a better world. And I saw there were many artists out there with uplifting messages, you know, good messages, and, and if we were together as a team doing events and activities and projects, we would get a lot further and support one another. Um, you know, artists love to network. They love to work with other artists. They, true, they need to go off and do their own create in their, their own universe, but when they come together, it, it's magical, and so based on all that, you know, I, I've done, you know, many things over the years with the group, we, we also uh, support top social betterment groups, which goes right along with artists creating a better world because um, artists like to take responsibility for, you know, special charities often. I just wanted to say that one that we support, is a very big one, is uh, Drug Free World, Foundation for a Drug Free World. And they have these booklets, Truth About Drugs, which we've gotten out hundreds of them at events, fairs, and people love it. Um, and I'm just going to tell you just a little bit. Um, we have a project called Get High on Art, Say No to Drugs, where we get kids drawing pictures of better world without drugs. And we've done that a few times. I don't know if, I, if you have the little photos there. Uh, 
Glendale Art Fair. We went to and we implemented that project there along with artists showing their art. Um, so if you have those photos and you want to pop them up so people can see what we did. Yeah, I'm popping them up right now so that they see them. Okay. You know, pretty much uh, just in a, a nutshell description um, some of the things we've done. We also support another group called The, the Way to Happiness, Common Sense Moral Guide, um, also written by Ellen Hubbard. It's very popular and has um, created some very good effects in, um, you know, just getting people to um, live a better, you know, uh, saner life. And, and that's another one I, you know, could talk about more at some point, a project we're doing with that. But I'm just, you know, just touching on the purpose. This is just answering that first question that you're asking me. Beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. I mean, it's very, very cool. What um, It's very, very special and really meets what um, Artists for a Better World is doing. Um, to help to help society and just to help in general. I think that's just amazing. And um, I you. just I just want to want to validate you on that because I think it's I think it's I think it's really neat and um, yeah I think it's I think it's amazing. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, no problem. So I have that photo up there. Everybody saw it. It's awesome. Um, it's incredible. Now that next one, um, this next question that I have actually goes on with the growth, the growth of. Um, artists for a better world and that's like how has it grown throughout the years okay well we've been around um officially since 1997 and it started out as an idea and you know plan and when we started in 97 uh, i had the idea we should go out to fairs i went to several fairs and had booths and we promoted artists for better world and our purpose to, to others, and we also, um, you know, promoted some of the social networking groups that um, I mentioned, and we um, we set up, I think, of the LA one of the LA city fairs with thousands of people, and we had people come by and look at our art and our, you know, our T-shirts we had the group, and then also we sort of ate them and said, ask which areas of society they wanted to handle for the better. And at that time, a lot of it was the education uh, situation. And we, we have all these book lists from the Association of Better Living and Education, and we, we hand out these book lists, these surveys about, you know, what people wanted handled in society. Um, and then we took those and we um, you know, just were able to give people more information on how to be caused over these areas that we're not doing well, um, which is what that association does, information and education. And, you know, education and drugs, and, uh, morals, and so um, that's where, you know, one of the first events we did, and then we did several more fairs like that, um, and then over the years, we expanded, and we actually connected to more artists in the community, uh, we did several art festivals, like um, 11 art festivals, we had special events for individual artists like music showcases, variety shows, um, seminars, and uh, this kept our, our reach going, you know, out into the community. So we, we became, you know, pretty known out there that we were a group that was, you know, not just another ordinary artist get together group, but we were special because, you know, of our purpose here. We I especially look for, you know, artists with inspirational messages about creating better world. And, and um, we just, you know, we kept growing. And just last uh, November, we actually, we found the nonprofit. So we're now an official nonprofit. We have our nonprofit status, which had been talked about for years, but we finally got it. So we can now reach out even more and, you know, we're tax deductible so that when people become members, they, you know, donate. Uh, tax deduction, but it also supports a really good purpose, and then we can get more of our projects out there. I don't know if you have the uh, the newsletter, um, 
that um, that I gave. That if you want to show that, there's uh, information about our current activities. Plus, there's a whole um, page about our membership and how you can become a member. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, I'm gonna put that up right now so people can see it. Oh, cool. So there it is. Great. So yes, that's um, our newsletter, which we have a different theme and a different featured artist in the newsletters now. And I must say, um, I know you just got the front page there, but uh, one of our featured artists in this uh, newsletter, his name is Zach Maravella. He's a young Filipino, um, amazing musician and writer. And he's featured on uh, one of the pages of the, the newsletter there. And um, he very much aligns with artists for a better world. Uh, we, you know, we like that he's, he's a, a young boy who has this purpose. He's utterly amazing. He's a ukulele player, singer, writer. And the reason he joined is because it aligns with his purpose, which I thought was really cool. And, you know, we've had him perform at some of our events. Um, so I'm just saying a little bit about the newsletter. I see that the front page, which... Um, has to do with um, a project we're running now, which is, you know, Unity for Creativity, and we'll talk a little more about that as you uh, ask me more questions about uh, what's coming up here with the group. But uh, uh, if anybody's interested in, in the newsletter, you know, reach out to me through the website or, you know, uh, join out as a member. We would love that. And uh, there's a lot I could say, but, you know, uh, newsletters and uh, some of our flyers uh, talk about what we're doing, which I'd be happy to get out to anybody. I love that. That is so awesome. And I have the picture of Zach up. Um, oh, good, good. Yeah, because what I wanted to give them, you know, a glimpse of how um, utterly unique and talented Zach is. Yes, I, he sent me a, a recent poem, and it's all about the importance of the art. I mean, he's like, you know. Um, you know, when I, when I get up in age, I think I'm going to turn my, my hat over to little Zach there because he, he's very aligned with what we do. <laughs> that is so cool. I look, yes. That, that is so cool. I bet you he's, I bet you he's very, very honored of that. Yeah, he's a lovely person. In fact, you know, you'll, you'll have to meet him. Maybe we'll have him on your show someday. <laughs> yeah, someday I'll definitely have him on the show. I think that'd be awesome. Great. Amazing. And then I also had, um, just based on what you said, I actually have a question. And that's, yeah. what are some of the viewpoints you have about art and its importance in creating a better world? How does that align? Okay. okay. I, I, I like that, uh, that question. Um, so basically, here's the thing. The artist set the trends in society. And it's the artist who's going to lead the way. So the message that they relay is very important because that's what people are going to follow. They make the trend, especially if they become full well known celebrities. Um, so, for instance, if the artist is promoting degradation and violence and drugs, um, you know, immorality and uh, perversion, that's what people are going to follow. And they say, oh, this is cool to act like this. And they'll do more drugs. And they'll do, do more crime. And, you know, and unfortunately, that's, a lot of what has occurred, you know, in Hollywood and some of the mainstream arts. So, you know, we are kind of the, it's the opposite of that. Of that. We, uh, we want good survival messages that raise the tone of society and give more hope. And it's not that everything we are to say has to be, you know, um, you know, high spirit or the high tone, but a good message that people are going to follow and go, oh my gosh, you know, I mean, something that gives the truth about drugs might not be so high tone, but, you know, it gives the truth about what's going on. Um, also, um, you know, there's that's a whole other subject I could, I could get into about, you know, the, the message of the artist and how they affect society. Um, but, you know, the artists have to be aware of what they're putting out there and know the effects that they're creating. So that's why we attract, you know, over all these years, you know, 20 plus three years, we have attracted the ones that align with our purpose and some amazing, amazing artists. And it's, it's, it's so important that, you know, we get those messages out. So we've kind of got this little, you know, independent artist movement going here. And it's not just us. I'm connected to a couple 
other groups and they're doing the same and I've, you know, liaised with those groups and so it's kind of bypassing the mainstream, so to speak, to get the messages out and I, I see the difference it makes, I, you know, I see the successes, the reviews and that's what really needs to be mainstream and that those type of artists are who are creating a better world. I love that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that completely, that completely indicated for me. I like it. Great. <laughs> so, yeah, just a little plug. If anyone is listening out there has not joined our group and wants to be a member, if you're part of this, be part of this movement, uh, we would love to have you. I, one of my favorite things is meeting new like-minded artists and joining up with them, uh, you know, having them become members, see what they're doing, promoting that. So I encourage them to go to artistsforabetterworld.art and, um, and join us. A beautiful thing. I, um, for the viewers, um, I do have the link to Barbara's um, website down at the bottom. It's scrolling through. Um, it's on this little um, headline type um, type font and it's Barbara Cardova yeah artist for a better world art right there um, if you can go to that web page please do go check it out it's um, super great I've actually been to it um, I also want to say that um, if anybody can you know lend a hand maybe even donate do anything that you guys can towards this amazing organization that'd be much appreciated um, Barbara is an amazing individual, amazing being, and um, great intentions for this organization. And I just wanted to say, um, from from my heart, thank you so much for what you're doing for artists. It's super appreciated. Well, thank you, Ryan. And I just wanted to say, because we're actually building a new web upgrading website, so just to make it less confusing, there's a membership section. They can sign up for any membership, $50 on a, if you're an artist, the general membership goes a long way. Or, or more, we love that. And then the contact, if you want to contact us, you go down below a row of pictures there. It's like our Instagram page, and it says contact. So um, just in case you're wondering where the contact is. Beautiful. Yeah, go ahead and contact them as well. That'd be awesome. I love it. Um, now then, this, this next question I wanted to get to was, um, there's something that's that was special that happened yesterday. And I wanted you to touch on that, and then um, how it was, how it is important to creating a better world. Yes, yesterday was a very special day, and um, it was April fifteenth, and I don't mean tax day. <laughs> That's what it used to be. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a joke because they actually moved that up to July fifteenth with everything happening now, so we could just celebrate what is called World Art Day. Now, we've been celebrating this every year. It's actually Da Vinci birthday, who is, you know, an amazing historical artist and all kinds of things that he did. And there's an organization um, that we connected to um, which celebrates World Art Day. I think it's, it's 2012. Um, prior to that, we just called it Art Day. That goes back to 1998 when Becky Mate, one of my uh, founding members, started Art Day. But we merged with World Art Day. So for the past few years, it's been World Art Day. And what's very special this year with everything going on is we have a theme, and that is unity through creativity. And that's what, you know, you saw in the newsletter that um, Ryan held up with that, that little theme where there's a quote in there from Einstein about um, creativity is contagious. Pass it on. And, you know, um, <laughs> that's a good kind of contagion. That's, you know, we want everybody to be, uh, get contagious with, with with that virus, the art virus. You know, and that's a very um, good thing to, you know, to pass on and get people um, doing art and being inspired to do art. So, yesterday, in honor of this holiday, uh, normally we'd have a live event or, or a couple of events, but, you know, we can't do that out in the, the world, but we can do it in the virtual world. So um, what we did was a few things. Um, we promoted for artists in our books and artists we know to post online on Facebook or in social media. 
um, some music, some art, you know, just like amidst all of this, you know, disaster we're going through, we're just we're going to spread our, our virus of art out there. And so we got some of our artists doing, you know, Facebook Live, um, music posts, and wishing everyone happy art day. And, and we got artists sending in art uh, that you made to started this big years ago, collected a lot of visual art, uh, poetry, and at her house yesterday, she lined up paintings um, on the uh, on her property at her house. She put up on uh, a little clothespin line, I mean, it's a little <laughs> informal, but people would email her art, and she posted the pictures up so people could see, and she... Um, also read some of the uh, the poems that people sent in, which we're, we're going to do a little property out of this later. And then, really cool, she had um, some canvases and art supplies that she was giving away at her home. And um, there were some people that came by. I think, Brian, if you have, there's the photo of the little girl who came by and the little banner there. And then there's some painting of Becky, or a picture of Becky and a couple of paintings. Um, and then there's one guy in there who's a uh, uh, Facebook performer. So if you want to show any of that, you know, take a break from me speaking here. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting them up right now. Um, I just put up the one where the girl took the art supplies. Great. Okay. Putting up some frame pictures too, which is super cool. Great. That's just a little sampling. I mean, you know, we had a lot come in, so you know, we could do a whole art show in itself. But uh, <laughs> right now, that might be a little much. So I'm just giving a sample. Um, you know, some of the activities there. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we had uh, yeah, Becky there in her little art t-shirt, and um, there's a couple of paintings, I think Linda Hubbard's painting, and Becky had a painting, and anyway, just, you know, I've got a list of like 20 different artists that that did things. Um, we're going to do a property, a video property of clips from the uh, the music that was sent in, the art, the poems, and we're going to put that together, and we are going to have a property uh, that will promote artists from the world, and World Art Day. Beautiful. I love it. Woohoo! So it's real important. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention that although the holiday was officially the 15th, we have designated the entire month of April as our month because, you know, not everything can be done on the 15th. Plus, now, you know, we don't do the live events. So anything anyone wants to send, I will encourage you, you know. Send him to me or send to Becky to show some stuff for her, uh, pictures and poems so, um, uh, to um, update at earthwings.net or, um, you know, as, if you want to just keep it simple and send it to me through the website, that's fine. I will, I will get anything that comes in. And it's all go to Facebook, you know, Barbara Cordell's on Facebook. Let me know who you are. What you want to do for Art Month? We, we've got our day, but now we've got our month. We don't want this to end because we want to create so much, you know, uplifting of the spirits and the strength that it outcreates the kind of disastrous stuff that's going on right now. And I noticed we're not the only ones in our group doing stuff. I've seen posts from, you know, people in other lockdowns, like in, you know, uh, Italy and you know, other places throughout. The world, they're, they're singing, they're doing art. I saw a chalk artist doing chalk on the sidewalk. I mean, it's really bringing out the uh, the best in some people that, you know, rather than being all upset, they're okay, I'm going to take this time to create. I'm going to give a good message. I'm going to acknowledge the importance of the art. Really, that's what we're all about, you know, and you can say April's Art Month, but truthfully, you know, so we could say we want the time. Anyway, <laughs> we really need it now so we can handle all this other stuff and just having that positive, you know, intentions out there through the arts, I think it's going to make a big difference. Beautiful. So if anybody can um, do exactly what Barbara just said, it's amazing how she said it and she just blow her a, a bunch of support. Um, 
bunch of power, and um, let's make this um, this let's just make AF a BW an amazing, amazing, amazing um, thing around April and also um, May. Let's just let's just pack it through, and um, I think art and artists are really, really, really vital to the future of um, the world. And um, I do think that they deserve, and um, they deserve a lot of support and a lot of power that goes to them because um, they flow a lot of power to society and the world in general and a world at large. So I do want to I do want to thank you on that. Um, that I think that's I think that's super 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 important. And um, if you guys have any questions, do reach out to Barbara um, at the contact us page um, at her website. So yeah, check that out. Um, and then I also wanted to ask you, Barbara, is there anything else you'd like to let the viewers know about what you do and how they can help you in addition to what uh, you said? Yes, I'd love to. First of all, I wanted to just kind of put out there a little, just elaborate a little more on the fact that how important the arts are. And, and it's vital that we all agree that the, uh, the artists and the rest of society will be able to go back to work soon because you know with all this going on there's a lot of venues shut down for everybody we need the live arts we, we need live fairs we need uh because that keeps the society alive and it's one thing to do everything on online and you know at least we have that connection and we can be in contact with people around the world but in our own areas in our own community um you know just want to get everybody's agreement um that we will have the the arts and the rest of the society are up and running very soon. Um, and, you know, um, we can say a lot about what's going on. I mean, I've certainly researched it a lot, but I don't really even want to talk about that because, you know, it's all over the media. And I just want to basically encourage, you know, this purpose, making a better world, joining, joining our group if you're a like-minded artist, telling other artists about it. And also just whatever you do out there, I mean, life can be an art, you know, I mean, cooking and, um, you know, designing and, and building buildings, and, you know, whatever you, whatever you do, um, if you, you treat life as an art, then I want to encourage people to keep creating. I know there's a lot more family time these days. And one thing I must say is we are very, um, you know, have a big purpose in getting kids involved with the arts. So, um, it's, it's really key that, you know, keep the kids love art, they love to draw and sing, you know, and, and keep them doing art. If you're homeless with kids, you know, we'd love to see some kids art, you know, let's get more kids art in and see what they're doing. We were going to get schools involved with Art Day this year, but we couldn't because they're shut down. We had one last year, gave us a bunch of drawings. So I just wanted to put a plug in for the future, you know, of our society is with our kids, our teens, the young people that are going to carry forward um, this message of creating a better world. So if we get them now and we, we get them involved, like, you know, like little Zach is only 10 years old, going on 30, <laughs> he's amazing, and we get more kids involved, then we can put a better future there and we can end, you know, them going off into more, maybe, corrupt avenues, so to speak, because, you know, they're vulnerable when they're young, and, you know, many kids get involved with drugs and things that are not so good, but we are doing the opposite, and, you know, young or old, I encourage um, everyone to join us, and let me know what you'd like to do, if you're, if you're pop, pop any, you know, social betterment groups or charities, we, you know, we just all want to kind of join together, young and old, we've got you know, seven year old we also have a uh, nine year old poet who came to one of our art day events and he was a maybe my neighbor and he came and he read an amazing poem. So any age, we don't we don't care. We just anyone who shares this purpose at this time it is so key. We all agree we're gonna get back out in the world, we're gonna do our art, get back to work and we're gonna have things turn around hundred and eighty degrees degrees, you know, it's like, you know, things there was you know, not, things worked back late before the, the virus hit, but, um, and then they got worse, and now we, we have this step to turn it around and make it better. So, um, again, uh, the quote I'll have to say again, because it's my favorite, a culture is only as great as its dreams, and its dreams are dreamed by artists, by Ellen Hunter, I just love that quote. 
and I live by that <laughs> that motto. I love that quote so much, and I yeah. love what you said with the uh, with yeah, just you know, children, of, and then also just you know, children, and then anybody else that um really just is an artist and um, we all know um, how we are artists, you know, and um, deep down inside we know it. And yeah, I mean, all I have to say on that point is don't get invalidated with people. And um, uh, when people, when people say things about your art, don't, don't take it offensively, just ignore them and move on and flourish and prosper. You're a huge being yeah. and um, huge being and you have a, an amazing team. And um, that team is artists for a better world, definitely hands down. And um, yeah, definitely would agree to uh, back them up as much as you can, even join their team and also support it so that they can also support others as well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have to say, Barbara, you're just an amazing individual. And um, I, I, I really do um, support, you know, artists for a better world um, even more now than before. Because I had I, I heard about it a little bit, but I didn't hear about it totally, completely, and now I'm pretty much sold on supporting it, which is super great. So I'm glad I did this interview with you, and um, we'll definitely have you back again. I do want to just plug it in one more time and say everybody needs to go to artistsforabetterworld.art. Um, go check it out. Go support it. Even become a member. That'd be amazing. Um, if you guys have any questions, do contact them at the contact us page. And um, yeah, we're definitely gonna have Barbara back. She's just and she's incredible. She's super happy and she's super inspiring and she's super validating. So you'll love to work with her and she'll love to work with you. Alrighty, Barbara, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, appreciate you coming on and um, definitely gonna have you back and we're gonna um, make it so that we can see you um, on video. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just glad you got to show my pictures there. That that was <laughs> that was more important. But yes, we want love to be back and get some of our um, our big artist players on your show as well. I would totally love that. Send them over. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, Rod. You've been awesome. You're a great host, and I love what you're doing and your activity. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Barbara. I super appreciate that, and you have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, we just did a live with um, a live with Barbara. Yes, there were technical difficulties at first, but we made it through, and um, we, we succeeded. And anybody who did watch, I do appreciate you. Um, if you guys um, can support at, at any moment in time um, these future interviews, it will not be the way it was today. Um, there was just technical difficulties and it was just a microphone problem and connection issues. That's why in the future we will go ahead and ensure that people are um, all hooked up even more than before and also ensure that you know everybody has the hat down completely and can operate fully and um, so that you know physical things don't get in the way. Alrighty, guys, thanks so much for um, joining on in at the last moment. I'm sorry it went a little late. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to have Jessica Valencia, and it's trust me, it's not going to go the same way. It's only a once-in-a-lifetime really opportunity to mess up like that. <laughs> and we'll definitely have Barbara back. I super appreciate you guys being there for me, and um, I'll definitely do more lives in the future, of course. And, um, yeah, thanks so much for your support. Appreciate it. All right, have a nice one. Bye.